Hi, welcome to your channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I'm your host, Dr. Ghosh, and I'm back today with a totally inspirational and awe-inspiring story. Friends, today is Valentine's Day, a day of love. And I bring to you on Valentine's Day, a Valentine Day special of a true love story in mankind's darkest moments during World War II in the most unlikely place, the Auschwitz death camp where 1.2 million people, especially Jews, were exterminated. This love story is between an Jew inmate, Helena Citronova and an SS Nazi guard. France wounds you. Love always finds a way in the most unlikely of places and between the unlikeliest of people. Do you want to hear the story? A story of true love. A story where a Nazi guard fell in love with a Jew prisoner at Auschwitz death camp and where the Jew prisoner Helena repaid the Nazi guard's love at a war tribunal 30 years later by getting him released. An amazing story of true love. But before we go on to the story, for those of you who are coming on to the first time to my channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant, let me give you a brief about this channel. Generous, Gracious and Gallant YouTube channel was started in May 2020, keeping in view the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. We wanted to do something different during this period and hence we started the YouTube channel Generous, Gracious and Gallant to motivate people during these darkest hours. In Facebook, which we started in 2015, we have 835 members as on date and on WhatsApp, we have an additional 190 members. We share with you the best stories of mankind at its very best on the YouTube channel. And today here we have 499 members or subscribers. And we share with you daily motivation on WhatsApp and Facebook towards our mission to ensure that we strengthen the moral fiber and change the thinking pattern of the present and coming generations so that they live by the eternal human principles such as respect, diversity, honesty, integrity. Living by these eternal human principles which are etched in stone is the sure short way to success. I am not saying that you could not achieve short term success by ignoring these principles. You probably could and you can achieve huge success by ignoring these principles of honesty and integrity. Make name fame for yourself. But then destiny finds a way my friends. We have heard so many stories of super successful people who later commit suicide, get go to jail, live their lives in poverty or loneliness because they ignored these principles. It is a slippery slope to success. Success will be short lived. But if you want eternal success and want to live a life which even you will feel proud of and you, when you see yourself in the mirror every morning, 
you can say yes i am successful if you follow these eternal human principles so could i re request those of you who have not subscribed to my channel to please join our mission by subscribing to the channel and sharing these videos with your friends and family so that they too can be motivated and find the shortcut to success by following these eternal human principles and values coming back to our story it was the darkest hours of mankind's nazi germany was winning and spreading across europe when hitler came to power in 1933 the bureaucrats made the grotesque horrible nuremberg laws banning all relationships between the so called pure aryans germans and jews jews were being rounded up and sent to camps all their human rights were being violated and they were ex being exterminated in death camps such as auschwitz going ahead to 1942 nazi germany had become supreme across the european continent and was winning battle after battle and jews had been rounded up and been sent to multiple death camps across the european continent it was at one such death camp auschwitz where over 1.2 million jews had been exterminated the day was 21st march 1942 and it was the birthday of ss nazi guard franz wunschuk helena had already been chosen for being exterminated she was working in the auschwitz death camp in a giant warehouse called as canada where all the belongings of the exterminated jews was gathered and then sent by train to berlin for use in the nazi war efforts helena who was a sorter at this so called canada warehouse had already been pre selected on that day to be exterminated however as luck would have it she was invited to sing a happy birthday song on 21st night march 1942 for france when she sang the birthday song france the rough and tough nazi guard who hated jews and frequently acted the role of the ramp who segregated those who would live and die once the trains brought these jews to the camp and he was also the one who would put the pesticide pellets into the gas chambers so that in the gas chambers these jews were exterminated he was so rough and tough and so anti jew but when he heard helena sing the happy birthday song to him he fell in love with her and when she went back to the canada warehouse he walked up to her and dropped a packet of biscuits which proved to be god given to her and a love you note helena destroyed the note but she could not avoid reading the word love written on it he said you will no longer be sent to the death camp and gas chambers also he said is there anyone else you want saved helena replied i have a sister with two children franz said children cannot be here they will be exterminated but i will save your sister and he ran up to the gas chambers and found out her sister and put helena's sister also to work at canada warehouse he saved both the sisters from certain death 
in the gas chambers. Both had been pre-selected to die. As the days continued, Helena reciprocated the love of the SS guard, Franz. In the darkest of places at the Auschwitz death camp, both carried out a secret love affair. If they were found out, both would have been put to death, including horrendous torture. But both carried out their love affair. And when Germany lost the war, Helena went away to Israel and France returned to Austria. It was 1972, 30 years later, that France was tried for his war crimes. Both Helena and France met at this war crimes court and Helena and her sister both testified in favor of France. Helena repaid the love that France had for her and the kindness France had shown to Helena and her, her sister by testifying in his favor. Though other Jews identified France and said that he was a Jew hater, he frequently acted as the ramp where he was involved in the selection process of who would who would live and who would die and also the other Jew prisoners said that he was the one who put the lethal gas pellets inside the chambers which was responsible for extermination of so many Jews. The testimony of Helena and her sister in favor of France led to France being allowed to get away scot-free. His simple act of kindness of saving two Jewish women and being in love with Helena saved his life 30 years later. Helena said in multiple interviews, here he did something good. There was moments I forgot that I was a Jew and he was a Nazi SS. God, I honestly fell in love with him. And France said, Helen changed my behavior. I fell in love with Helena and that changed me. I changed into a different person because of her influence. Because of her love, mm -hmm. Franz said he changed from a monster into a human being. This love story from mankind's darkest days and in the most unlikely places of Auschwitz death camp between an rough and tough, hardened SS guard who hated Jews and a Jew prisoner, Helena, who was there, has gone on to prove that love always finds its way. Friends, on Valentine Day, today, 14 February 2021, I thought, let me share with you this story, which has become an eternal love story, a story where though both were from different backgrounds and at mankind's darkest hours in one of darkest places in mankind's history, the Auschwitz death camp, Franz and Helena fell in love and carried out their love affair despite the ever-present danger of them being caught out 
and tortured and put to death. Helena repaid Franz's favor of true love of having saved her and her sister 30 years later by testifying in his favor and getting him acquitted friends i'm sure you like these stories which i bring for you i request you once again to join our mission of ensuring that present and coming generations live by the eternal human principles by subscribing to the channel and sharing these videos with your friends and family so that they too are motivated to live by these eternal human principles one of the human principles of love and respect has been highlighted in this video till we meet again with another awe inspiring story to keep you all motivated good luck all the best stay safe